What is up, everyone? I know it's been a very long time since we've touched on this. We are finally back on the LSX Swap C3 Corvette. Today's video is not going to be long at all, but it's going to be very to the point for something you have to do, and that is you have to tackle the heater box. So we'll get this camera turned around and we'll get to it. Now, as I said, guys, there's a couple things we have to do to get this engine in this car. The first is we have to tackle the heater box. Now, there's a couple different ways of doing this. One, you can run without a heater box. Some guys just take them out. They don't have heat. They just do whatever. Two, you can go with a vintage air system. A lot of guys will do that, but I looked at this project. I looked at what I wanted to do, and yeah, it costs a lot of money, but that wasn't the thing that turned me away from it. I didn't want to tear the whole dash out of my car to do this. We're basically doing this kind of on a budget, the right way, and the way we're doing it, we don't have to get into the dash at all. So, let's get looking at our third option. Okay, so this is option three. This is a custom heater box that was done by Custom Image Corvettes. Uh, this is guys that didn't want to use the vintage air system but still wanted to retain what they have. This will go in place of your original heater box. Now, if you look at this, some guys are going to be like, holy crap, it's the same box, but there is a notch shaved out of this box that I'll point out as we take this thing apart that helps you clear the right side valve cover. So, this is definitely something needed unless you want to relocate your coil packs, which I don't for the look that I want to go with. So, we're going to change this box out. Okay, guys, so I finally got that box out of the car. You can see this is the old Junker one, and here's the new one. Let me show you the differences real quick. If you see here on the old one, this is what they had to clear. There's this big section right here. This hits your coil pack. So, the new one, if you do it yourself, you have to shave that. Basically, cut it in half, make a triangle out of it. Then flatten this as much as you can through here, re-glass it back in, and you're good to go. Now, let me show you why I couldn't figure out this car didn't have heat for the longest time. And we finally figured it out when I got this box out. That is not supposed to be cracked in half. Not good. Thing is junk. Moving on. And guys, this video was just meant to be pretty straightforward to the point. But I'll just show you before we put the new box in. You won't even see that. I'll just do it later. You just literally bolt it back in. Mine had a couple of the studs broke off. So they put a form of gasket around this. I'm going to fix some of the studs. Ugh, peel more of this crap off and re-gasket it. But while you're in here, just a couple tips. Check your heater core. Check your blower motor if you're not going to replace it. Make sure it works. If you do replace it, I highly recommend putting the C4 blower motor conversion in. Pumps a lot more volume of air in the cabin. It's literally a plug-and-play deal. So just order one for like an 85 Corvette and put in there. That's what I'm doing to that box before I actually install it. I have the motor. But guys, this is a step that had to be done. You had to see. I know it's not the most exciting but we're going to get to that. Once you look at this and once you're going through your car, you at least know what to do for this step. So as you can see, there's the motor. Trans is over here behind me. All the other stuff's over there on my bench, which is a mess and under the bench. But guys, thank you so much for watching. The next video is going to have a lot more content on this car. As always, keep checking back. Please subscribe, share with your friends. We're really looking for that thousand followers. So thanks everyone. Have a good one.